Hello everybody, I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a consultant in internal medicine and diabetology. I have a practice of last 20 years. Currently I am in Bangalore. I practice in BN Hospital and in, in Prima Diagnostics at Shajapur Road. I have also been actually publishing some papers and writing books on diabetes and patient care management. Hypertension, as you all know, can manifest itself very silently. If we feel that we get the symptomatic patients, but do you think that the blood pressure has shot up suddenly? No, obviously not. The blood pressure must have risen gradually, silently, and then manifested itself. But it is very good to capture the rise in blood pressure as early as possible, because that eventually prevents organ damage. But we know that in the current situation, we are in a COVID-19 circumstances where the digital blood pressure monitoring at home has picked up. So we know that nowadays people are aware that it is not just that they have to run to a clinic or a hospital and to approach a doctor for some of the ailments. Somebody in the family will be a hypertensive and the, all the other family members get the benefit of checking their blood pressure. At the same time, let me also deal with this blood pressure device, blood pressure measuring device at home. Well, we know that there are challenges with the device and it is obviously a question thrown to their family doctor or to a cardiologist that how far we can rely on these blood pressure readings which are taken at home. So obviously there are some good best practices when we take the blood pressure at home. And the device illustrations, the device has got patient pamphlet which also talks about how good or how best we can measure the BP without significant errors. And hence it is important that the trends which come out from the blood pressure are reliable and can be well seen as a trend and then it will help us to decide the type of treatment we have to give. But what if this is not happening? What if the blood pressure readings are, are erratic? What if the blood pressure is being taken by the family or uh, by the patient at home a number of times because they want to be satisfied, for example, if they have taken a reading once, they may not be satisfied with the reading for whatever reasons and they might take a second reading and a third reading and then another reading on a different arm and then keep doing it and it will never throw the same reading obviously. At the same time I have come across incidences where the cuff is not tied at the right place. So that is why the topic today or the, the, point, of, the point of topic is how do we avoid these things if such patients come with a BP record how much to rely on that. So there is something called as ambulatory blood pressure monitoring where it's a non-interventional non device, it's a wearable device and it can be used uh, to monitor BP for a few days and to get a chart where which can see the ups and downs and trends of the blood pressure and hence removes some doubts about what the patient is taking at home, what type of device they are using, how they are using and also avoids the patient to run to the clinic or to, the, to any hospital and it can be done at the comfort of their houses. So ambulatory blood pressure monitoring allows the patient to do their normal activities and continue to record blood pressure, which also is an advantage for us to know that whether the blood pressure is behaving erratically with their normal routine work or not. And while sleeping, getting up early in the morning, how does it behave and how do we treat? It gives us a lot of benefit. So hence, ambulatory blood pressure monitoring can be one of the solutions to all these problems taking BP at home.